Did you guys see that cave? Welcome back guys. We are arriving at Rapid Bay, uh, South Australia. It's about 130 odd k south of Adelaide and we're super excited as it's a ripper of a day. It's like 40 degrees outside, it's no wind. So we're arriving here now. It's now $12.50 per person per day. And I don't know if that's gone up because of the silly season or if that's the new price because it was $9 per person per night. No power, no water. It's got an amenities block. And um, we're hoping to get out of a site on the water. We've got a bit of fit. We want to do a bit of fishing. We want to do what else we got planned? Swimming. Swimming. And exploring. we're just going to explore and just sit back and enjoy a Rapid Bay. We've been super excited to get here. So come on, let's go. Here we are guys, all parked up, Rapid Bay Campground, and uh, it, it hasn't disappointed at all. So, as you come in, toilets up there, I don't know what they look like, I believe they're not too good. There's plenty of people around here, it's a hot day. Um, we'll go up and have a look. Bins, 12 bucks 50 an adult, 25 bucks for two people, no power, no water, yes. That is a generator. Right next to us, but anyway coming to show you we managed to get ourselves this spot right on the beach been here for a bit this is our setup we're here for four days so you want to stay longer I think four days is fine still got to get the um, the pegs in the ground yeah that's rock hard I'm gonna have to pre-drill it and um, got the Weber out we're doing a roast dinner tonight and I reckon we're gonna get ourselves Pretty good sunset tonight. The reason why I say that is there's a few clouds in the sky. But guys, look at the water. It is busy. It's a little part of the silly season. That's fine. I'm just gonna sit back here. I'm gonna get the chicken on the go. There's a jetty as well. Oh, let me just show you quickly. Take the jetty. It's just out over there. You can't get to the end of it. I think it's sort of half broken at the end. They wanna redo it and rebuild it, but possibly do a bit of fishing off there tomorrow. It is Sunday today, so um, what else are we doing with the chicken? Uh, some veggies and potato. Veggies and potatoes, so we're going to do a rotisserie chicken tonight. Run in the inverter, so we can do the rotisserie. It's super hot here, batteries are looking good. Sodas are clean and I think the battery's actually full. The hit one struggling a bit, I've got to try and sort that out. But we're at, how many days have we been off grid now? About 14, eh? 14 days. 14 days off grid, guys, so that's pretty good. Batteries in the uh, caravan are holding nicely, so let's stop prepping up this dinner. Can't wait. From spot. Oh. Guys, look at this. What is the time? Six o'clock. And, um, yeah, she's still busy, but. Sun's still up, but come, come check out. Come and have a look at dinner. Come on. Look at this, guys. Big bird. Potatoes going underneath. So he's going to bring the veg a bit later. Hey? Cooking with a view. Running off the inverter. Rotisserie chicken. Now, guys, we do get questions, uh, a lot of questions in regards to this. Um, Operators over here. It's the Weber rotisserie for the Q1000 and uh, you can get one for the Q2000. This is for the Q2000 so um, I'm not sure if you get them for the other ones but I know you get for the Q1000 because we've seen it and this and I think they were this one was about $180 and if you don't have an inverter you can get the um, so just getting the battery operated sort of motor off eBay or something. Ah, oh, just run it off the inverter. 
works like a bomb. Something different, and um, yeah, we're enjoying this, but, oh, hang on a minute. Come this way, sir, check this out. Let's crack a cold beer. Guys, it is so hot here today that my fridges are battling, and I thought, oh, the fridges are breaking, but I've spoken to a couple of people, and everyone's fridges are battling, so, I mean, that's barely even, oh, I would, it's cold, but anyway, so cheers. Well, guys, dinner's pretty much cooked, so we thought, why not take a bit of a walk somewhere where it's a bit quieter. So many people, but sun's still out. There's a little bit of a quieter beach further on, so we left Sophie in the van. Sand's just too hot for her little feet. They get burnt, but we're just walking along here towards that little point over there. I don't know, stretch our legs a bit, get to know the area. What do you think? I think this is Palm Spot. Huh? Palm Spot, Sue's, Happy to be here. Sue has like, let's just stay here permanently, <laughs> didn't you? I did, I said just park up. So, I was like, nah, but anyway, let's go and have a little look, see how what's going on. The way it is, the way it is, it's no mystery, there's no getting around it. When you're here, when you're here, we got chemistry. We light up. Wow, I'll tell you what, the sunset has not disappointed and it's only getting better. Yeah. Have a beer, what? How's this for life? Oh, let me just put this down and swing this camera around quick. Look at this. This is living the dream. This is, is it, what it's all about. Look at this, guys. As you can see, it's pretty busy, but that's fine. Everyone's out, everyone's doing their thing and enjoying this as as well. Have a good old barbecue on the beach. Our supper's had to go for a bit longer. People packing up. Yeah. Seagulls going. So guys, today the weather has turned it on again. I've decided to pack myself a little backpack, as you can see. And um, I'm just taking a walk, go a little adventure. Got my swimmers in the bag. And uh, we're heading around the around this bay here. I looked on Google Earth and it looks like there's a little private bay, so we're gonna go down a walk, have a look and see what we can find. push yourself to find some good spots, so let's see how we go. Oh. scary but at the same time it was absolutely amazing it's just the jagged rocks on your feet and I tried to start off with me thongs on but my feet were just slipping out so I put chuck the uh, thongs in the bag what is this eh? 
we're gonna keep going there's a few people out here have the same idea but that's fine just gonna keep going to see how far i can get if i can find a little beach for myself Woo! yes just come over some more another beach i must say the wind is coming over the hill so pretty protected let's keep going find something else there's loads of people here but that's okay we're definitely gonna be water's pretty cold to be honest i'm not a big swimmer in the cold water but i don't know it definitely looks inviting how good is this awesome spot guys check us out check us out check us out hey wow little cave behind me here doesn't make you deep I'm just feeling the sand and I think the water comes up so I've got to be careful I can get back. I don't know, should we have a swim? It is absolutely freezing. Oh, oh that'll wake you up. Yeah, you can go along some more but I think that's as far as we're going to be able to go. Awesome little adventure. A bit tricky at times but um, the rocks weren't that slippery so yeah, it's pretty good. Did you guys see that cave on that drone footage? Got to go and have a look quick. Tidy's coming in. Come on, let's get going. Pretty excited about this. It's one good thing about having a drone. So you can have a little peek. Oh, look at this. I should have just kept going. Well, guys, that was a little bit extra. But this is what I saw on the drone. Look at this. Yeah. How good is this stuff? My right legs just started cramping up. Oh, I'm so unfit. Oh, hang on. This. Hey. Turn around and look at this. Wow, guys. <sighs> Apparently this part here is what you see on the South Australian flyers and pamphlets and books and stuff. Hey, it's crazy. Sorry about the sound again. I'm using the GoPro because I'm in the one out of the water. I've got me out of camera. But honestly, I do need to start heading back. These guys are on the kayaks, so they don't really have a problem. Just look at it. Hey. And um, if it wasn't for them, no one here. But um, come on. Let's start heading back. So guys, I just got back. Suze just sent me a message. She's got a little lunch break, so she wanted to go for a swim. It's too cold for me to swim. Don't like the water being so cold, so come on. Let's go. Just have to see why she has a swim. I got a complaint. Been losing all momentum. Because it's easy But that don't make it better
So morning guys, we're up this morning. We've met a lovely gentleman by the name of Paul on the right hand side. He owns his little tinny. And again, we're visited by Follow the Coast, Daryl and Kira. And we're out this morning chasing some squid. Whoa. Oh, first cast, oh. Paul. Just give it a bit of a... Watch we don't get... Um... Oh. <laughs> it's a big one. Oh, she's a, that's a big one. That's a horse. <laughs> that was like, that's a horse. Sound of that. Woo! Oh, yeah, I'm on as well. Oh, you kidding? I've got to get me first squid. <laughs> yep, pull the another one. We are having uh, calamari for breakfast, I reckon, or, and lunch by the looks of things. Woo! You got me. Got me. That's all right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at this! <laughs> hey! What a way to spend a morning. Come on. Oh, another yeah, horse of a one. Hey. Ooh, look at the size of that. You ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh. You gotta walk the plank, mate. He's swimming back. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? Mate, whatever you do, don't spray me, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah he's on. on the board. Well yeah. done, mate. <laughs> Aggressive bastard. You right there now, Daryl, this time? <laughs> Got him. Got him? Kill and then take it off. <laughs> can we spin around? You can have a go on this Oh, Daryl's on now. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, he's an aggressive oh, oh, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Guys, we're having an absolute little bit of fun here. Thanks to Paul, but he's got he's got the nose. I better get in. I've got to get another one. Are you ready? <laughs> got the GoPro there. All right. Getting in. Is that cuttlefish? Seems like I'm washing the bloody butt. That's a cuttlefish. That's a cuttlefish. Oh. Got it? Oh. I don't, I don't want cuttlefish. Do you want a cuttlefish? Dale, do you want a cuttlefish or what? Who's that? I can't kill them. How'd we go, guys? Great, eh? Good morning. Good morning. Woo! You're trying to save the wind and you're trying to take the slimy off the wind. How's it done, Dale? Look at this, guys. Woo! Bit of a technique to it, eh? Is Look it? at this. Oh yeah, Daryl wants to keep some, some heads for some bite. Well guys, that was epic this morning. Good to buy. Unfortunately, I reckon the wind's going to pick up pretty bad this afternoon, so that's why we went out early this morning, about 7. So guys, we're having an awesome time at Rapid Bay, but <clears throat> this morning, great fishing. Took Daryl and Kira for the same walk I did um, yesterday, which you guys have seen. I didn't record anything because I've already done it, but I took them anyway, which is great. They've taken off, and um, we've got that uh, calamari, well, squid. And we're heading to Victor Harbour. Now, Victor Harbour is about, 50, 40. about 50 minute drive from yeah. Rapid Bay. And um, yeah, look, so out of four days, we've had two good days and two fairly bad days in regards to the weather. So that's a 50 50. Well, when you're living on the, on the coast like that, it's, yeah, you you, it's down to happen. It. Yeah. yeah. So we're heading to Victor Harbour. We, there's a there's a jetty we can walk onto an island. I'm not sure what the weather's like there. I'm hoping that that's the opposite from where we have just come from, Rapid Bay. And um, also we got all that squid in the, the fridge, the, some stuff, and hopefully we can find a nice um, non-windy spot out of the wind um, to fry up some um, fish wraps. Woohoo! Woo. Squid wraps. Squid wraps. Yeah. Squid wraps. Well, guys. We made it to Victor Harbour, but unfortunately, the wind is absolutely blowing off here. And um, I don't know if you can see across the bay, but we was gonna take a walk along a sort of jetty to Granite Island, I think they call it. Um, but 
it's ab and yeah we didn't pack any jumpers to be honest but we've managed to find this little little bay here where um we've pulled up which is becoming a bit common oh jeepers i've almost bloody lost my footing <laughs> where it's becoming a bit common where we um actually like to cook on like leave the van take a drive somewhere and um find somewhere to cook up dinner i'm starving so uh watch out for the yeah watch out for the hole so <laughs> so um we're gonna whip out that squid get in the pan get the wraps hot and have a feed and then when we've done eating cool little um beach here for the dog for sophie so we'll get her out for a bit of a run and then we'll head back to the van so here's our squid guys we caught today all i've done is i've thrown a bit of butter in there and um a bit of garlic we don't really have garlic butter as such but apparently it takes a minute or two to cook these um little squid rings and then we're going to throw them on a wrap because i'm starving and um no uh, salt and pepper yeah just keep it simple no idea what i'm doing so don't take any like we said we're no chefs but um no fishermen, no chefs. Well, guys, we managed to catch a fish. Well, a squid today. And uh, that was that was my plan. That's epic. That's your first squid, love. No? It's my first squid, yeah. Um, we split it up between us, Daryl, Paul, and myself. Um, I think that should have been a bit hotter. But, um, yeah. And we ended up with two little ones, which is only the two of us. I didn't think Sue had um, liked calamari or squid, but she said she does. So, um... We'll split it amongst us and get a feed in. I've got some cheese, we'll throw some cheese on. We'll show you that in a minute. Sue's so got the wraps going. We didn't bring a knife. We're, not free. We're still learning, still learning. I'm gonna use this as a knife. Just using the, um, I don't know what you call it. Tongs. To cut my cheese. And that's how we just we're gonna warm up the wrap. It's not gonna be pretty, but it'll work. Yep. Ta-da! That's mine, guys. Ready to get rolled. That is what you call a la Derek squid wrap. Yes. So you had a little nibble of the um, squid and she reckons it is I did. super good. It's fabulous. Wow. Nothing better than fresh seafood. What do they say? From the um, field to the plate, paddock to the plate. But in this case, it's from the sea to the plate. So, let's get that out and roll it. Mm. How's that? Oh, so good. So, so good. Right, mm. well, once you're done eating that, we're going to take Sophie for a little walk. Paul, if you're watching this, thanks for taking us out on the tinny, mate. You made my morning and be able to catch a squid. whoop -a! As you can see, Sophie loves a walk. Running around, chasing the seagulls, just loving it. But guys, staying at Rapid Bay was absolutely awesome. Like we said, the weather was up and down, 50-50, which is good. There's not much shelter there, but there's also a few things to do around um, a Rapid Bay. I think it's called Second Valley. There's another sort of like beach and crystal clear water. And I believe there's a caravan park there. Um, came through to Victor Harbour, there's Cape Jarvis as well. So there's a fair bit to do here on this little um, part of south of Adelaide. Um, Rapid Bay, 110 k's from Adelaide, uh, Adelaide I think. And um, yeah, so we're wrapping it up early tomorrow morning and we're heading to Barossa Valley for two nights. Get a few things done. And we're actually going to be in a caravan park for two nights. So we're able to power up again. We've been 18 days off grid and everything's been run smoothly except for the fridge. The fridge needs defrosting and um, we're going to do that tomorrow, clean it out and hopefully it'll work again properly after that. But guys, for myself, Sue, Sophie, we thank you for watching this episode. 
hope you've enjoyed it drop any comments in hit the like button hit the subscribe button really appreciate it next week we start the york peninsula so you guys have a good week and we'll see you there